How are you getting on with the book? My obsession with every time I'm watching a movie or a TV series and a book appears, needing to know which book it is, continues. It's after Sun's turn, I don't remember the last time I cried with a film, but this one completely destroyed me. It's so beautiful, I 100% recommend it. So welcome, this is the After Sun's Book Club. The thing is that this film combines real books with fake ones that are just props, or at least I couldn't find anything about them, but even those tell us a lot about the story. Like the first ones we see, two fake romance novels that Sophie finds in the hotel's reception. It's a way to foreshadow that love is going to be an important topic for Sophie during this trip, and she's going to be curious about it. Next, the book Calm Gives to Her, It's Kim by Rudyard Kipling, an adventure story set in India during the British Empire that touches political and historical issues, so this explains why it's a little bit complicated for Sophie to understand. Then we have the books in the room, two props and two real, how to meditate and the take two ones don't exist, but are the way to tell us that this is Callum's coping mechanism and his way of trying to deal with his demons. The ones that do exist are being aware of being awake by Rupert Spira, a part of the Essence of Meditation series, and poems, stories and writings by Margaret Tate, which is a crossover between literature and film. This let us know a little of Callum's personality, that he's a really sensitive person who likes poetry, cinema, and is also interested in other topics like Buddhism. And that's all, please comment your thoughts, and until the next book club series video.